Everyone says they want to get into IT, but what they really mean is they want to stop struggling, make good money, and build a career that actually goes somewhere. The problem is nobody tells you how to get there fast. You end up buried in Reddit threads arguing about which cert to start with, bouncing between 10 different YouTube channels, and then you're still stuck at the same job a year later. Meanwhile, I've watched people, normal people, go from $0 to $70,000 a year in under a year. No prior experience, just focus, a plan, and consistency. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly what that path looks like. We'll talk about certs, labs, the timeline, and the mindset. So by the end, you will know exactly what to do to get your next IT job. So first, so that you know that I'm not some random nobody, I started from scratch with absolutely zero tech background. In the span of eight months, I started working at a MSP, and then within four months of starting work at that MSP, I became a systems administrator. Now I touch everything from Active Directory to Azure to firewalls and other infrastructure components. Now I'm not saying this to brag, I'm just saying it because I've seen what works. And if you follow a plan like this, you can absolutely get there too. So I think that the biggest mistake that beginners make is that they try to learn everything. One day they're watching CCNA stuff, the next day they're trying to do some security plus lab, and then they're trying to learn Python, AWS, they're really scatterbrained. Like the idea of tech is nice to them, but actually locking in on one domain of tech is difficult for them. To get started, you need a lane. You need a path that gets you in the door. Now there are three routes that you can take to get you to 70K fast. The first route, the route that I took, is the help desk route. You're gonna go help desk to sysadmin. This is just a general IT route. The second one is gonna be networking. You're gonna be working with routers, switches, firewalls, a lot of physical layer stuff at first. And then the third route is gonna be cloud or Azure. The third route is significantly more difficult to get an entry level job than the first two routes. But the importance is that you pick one. My recommendation, and again, what I personally did, would be help desk. Next, we need to talk about certifications because certifications are a pain point for a lot of people and they're very, very, very important. Again, this is where I see people not deciding which cert to actually take, wasting months of their time on something that they could have done in just a couple months if they had just locked in and done things the right way. So this is what actually works, the cert paths that are gonna get you in fast. If you're going the general IT route like I did, you're gonna go A+, Network+, and Security+. plus. If you wanted to skip A+, you could get the Google IT Support Professional Certificate and save yourself a lot of money. But you need the other two, Network Plus and Security Plus as well. This combo is going to build a beautiful foundation. You're going to be good at help desk. You're going to be ready to take on roles like desktop support. In any entry-level IT specialist job where you're touching things like Active Directory, ticketing systems, and real hardware and software. Once you're in and you have a little bit of experience, and by a little bit of experience, I mean you grind your butt off for a few months... You can start looking at a cert like CCNA or AZ-104 or Amazon Web Services. I think it's AWS Cloud Practitioner. This is what's going to prepare you to go from help desk to that system administrator or cloud administrator role. Of course, this is where the real money in IT actually starts. And if you're more into networking and you want to do the network route, I would honestly skip A plus altogether. You could even skip Network Plus and just go straight for CCNA. CCNA is the top cert in beginner level networking. Of course, there are higher level certs, but they're very difficult. This is going to set you up for school districts, MSPs, uh, NOC positions, beginner network technician. And this is all going to set you in that $55,000 to $70,000 per year range once you learn how to configure routers, switches, VLANs, and VPNs confidently and successfully. And if you want to try the most difficult route, the cloud route, you're going to go AZ900 to AZ104 or the Amazon equivalent of that. I don't know because I don't have Amazon certs. This combo is gonna prove that you understand Azure, hybrid identity, some resource management, and I've seen people and heard of people landing 65 to $80,000 jobs right off the bat with those certs. It's way more competitive and way more difficult and the market is really tough right now, but it is possible. Please note that with those certs, you're gonna to have to do lab work as well. AZ-104 is a heavy labbing cert and you need to understand the Azure portal. And then a quick note with regard to labs and studying for certs, all of the things that I've mentioned I've dropped my top resources in the description down below. Those are affiliate links, so they help the channel at no extra cost to you. And they are truly the best resources that I've been able to put together that I used when I was studying for my certs. The bottom line is you're going to take one path and you're going to take one cert at a time. When you're studying for a cert, lock in on that cert. Get it, lab it, apply it, move on, and just keep the momentum going. And on the note of labs, certs get you into the conversation, 
Labs get you the job. Employers do not care how many acronyms you've remembered. They want to see that you can actually do the things that you're going to have to do on the job. The fastest way to build proof of that and validate your knowledge is with a simple home lab. Honestly, you do not need a rack of servers and switches either. You can virtualize basically everything. Cisco has Packet Tracer for their networking labs. Azure, you can hop into the Azure portal and spin up and take down VMs like crazy. Build out beautiful virtual networks in one night and then take them back down and not pay very much money. I've set up my own tier one Windows Server lab that also uses Azure where you can practice things like Active Directory, configuring DHCP, DNS, you can get a very cheap, I think it's $10 a month, Microsoft membership and practice things like conditional access and things in the Entra portal, pushing out device policies with Intune or doing exchange management or Microsoft 365 management. Every one of those labs teaches you something and simulates something that you're actually gonna use on the job. Here's the move that's gonna make you one of the people that gets interviews instead of one of the people that does all the work but doesn't get interviews. You have to document everything of these labs. Take pictures and document everything on LinkedIn or on a personal website or on GitHub. You don't need to sound like an expert in this. You just need to show that you're learning and that you're actually doing stuff. And if you want to build out a big, beautiful portfolio in a span of a couple months, this is the way to do it. One topic per week, one lab, and then one short write-up documented in GitHub. 10 weeks later, you have real proof of what you've been doing, a beautiful lab portfolio and a beautiful resume. Okay, and then the secret sauce to actually getting that job is that you need to stop shotgun applying, easy applies, and one-click applies on LinkedIn and Indeed. People get hired because they can prove that they know what they're doing and because they can play the game and filter their way past ATC and HR filters. Pick 10 solid jobs and then tailor your application to that specific job using AI. Make it look like you're already halfway qualified for that role and push the truth. And understand, the application has to be done on the company website. If you've built your labs and projects, list them. Even something as simple as deploying an Active Directory domain controller and manipulating users in groups or making a GPL password policy is gonna look really good to hiring managers. With regard to using AI, run this through ChatGPT like 10, 20, 30 times. Optimize it, use action words, use quantifiable results. And again, push the truth. Everyone else is doing it. If you can't beat them, join them. Here's a quick example. Instead of worked with computers, you're gonna write resolved 20 plus tier one tickets weekly using Active Directory, Intune, and the Azure portal. This is how you go from the person who is ignored to the person who is interview ready. And then once you're ready, when you see that job listing, you're actually gonna reach out to the hiring manager. Oftentimes LinkedIn will have those hiring managers listed. Reach out to them directly in a message. Have ChatGPT write that message and tell them, hey, you know, my name's Jake. I really think I'd be a great fit for this role. You know, whatever ChatGPT tells you. And then again, continue posting your progress and being public. I know this is uncomfortable for some people, but you have to post about the things that you're doing so that other people can see that you're actually passionate. And uh, LinkedIn hiring managers, like they live on LinkedIn. So they see these posts, maybe they're gonna be more likely to reach out to you. This is just consistent proof of what you're doing in visibility. And then people always ask, how much time does it actually take to make money in IT? The true answer to this question is it depends. And this is a question that I asked a lot before I got in. If you stay consistent, this is what it could look like in real life. Months zero to three, you're going to pick your lane. You're going to get A+, plus, maybe AZ 900, looking at AZ 104, or go straight to that CCNA like we discussed. You'll set up your labs. You'll start manipulating things. You'll start documenting everything. In month three to six, you're going to start applying to those tier one help desk jobs, maybe knock, maybe the junior cloud admin jobs, and you're going to start learning once you get in. And the imperative part is that when you get in, you have to grind harder than everybody else at the company. Everyone thinks they're a grinder. Only some people are true grinders in this world. If you're one of them, you're gonna stand out and you're gonna learn an insane amount really fast. Here in these three to six months, you're probably gonna make somewhere around 45 to 55,000. That's okay, you're still learning, you're preparing. Months six to 12, you're gonna keep learning on the job and you're gonna build out labs that replicate things that you're doing on the job, still documenting everything. You're also gonna become a beast at IT and things are gonna start to click. And here's where a lot of people actually lose motivation. They get $55,000, they are comfortable all of a sudden and they just stop grinding like when they first got in. I've seen it happen time and time again. People who have so much potential but live at the very bottom of your company's metrics and you just don't get promoted because of that. Lastly, looking around month 12 to 18 is where you're gonna be getting that next level cert, maybe CCNA, maybe AZ 104, maybe some other cert because you decide to specialize in something else. And if your numbers are still good, you should be getting promoted in around month 12 to month 18. Again, I got in, I was super, super, super fortunate but I also grinded super hard to be at the top of the metrics and I got promoted in four months. So this is something that I was really worried about because I had a salary that I wanted to make. Like I wanted to make at least 70K as quickly as possible. And I was able to accomplish that. And I'm very grateful for that. But it also took lots of hard work. The realistic timeline is that most people should be promoting around 12 to 18 months. So you're learning, labbing, applying, and then just leveling up and grinding once you get in. Now I want to be real for a second. This path works 
but it's not easy. You're going to have weeks where nothing clicks, where you fail some practice exam or you fail a real exam and you say, this is not for me. That's normal. And every single person who's gone into IT has felt this way. They just didn't stop and they stayed consistent. Understand when you get in, you're going to have many situations where you feel like a complete idiot as well because you have to call about the most simple stuff. When you first start, IT sucks. It's super hard. When you get to that three, four months and you start to feel competent, it gets way better. You got to just stay consistent. And then once you become competent, you start to become confident. And if you can keep your metrics up and be confident and brave and fearless, that's where hiring managers are going to see you and you're going to get promoted. And then understand everything compounds. Your skills are going to compound. You can grow faster because you already have this baseline of knowledge. Your pay is going to compound because, of course, you can maybe bill more hours because you're more competent or you get promoted or you get opportunities like being able to train other people or take on different responsibilities that pay you more. So if you're sitting there with zero dollars right now, just remember this. If you grind, if you're intentional about your journey in 12 to 18 months, you can absolutely make $70,000 a year working in IT. That's not a dream. It's a plan. Listen, I wish you guys the absolute best in your job journey. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Appreciate all the support lately. Again, the best way you can support my channel is by buying courses through my affiliate links. Don't buy a course if you don't want the course. Buy a course if you want to practice the test and pass the test because I've given you the absolute best resources I could find. Thank you guys so much. Have a good day. Be safe. Be smart. Make some good decisions. And good luck going from zero to $70,000 in IT.